Alright, finally picked up some drumsticks. Liking the chicken lately. So I thought I'd change it up and get something a little different. $4.79 seems like a good deal. Uh, I think I'll do the same thing as last time. Just keep it basic. Salt and pepper. Big old pieces of chicken right there. Can't fit too many on the grill, so let's just do something like that. So I want to squeeze one more in there. One, two, three. Yeah. Keep it even, Stevens. Do just a little salt. Should probably do both sides. Necessary, but you got a cold stick of butter help keep things from sticking. Alright, isn't that looking yummy? Spent about 30 minutes cooking in that barbecue. Really hot, gotta let that cool down. That's pretty good chicken, but I like the thighs a whole lot better. I feel like this could have been cooked differently. And with better seasoning as well. But, you know, chicken's chicken. I'm liking it. A little too much black pepper. Mmm, yeah, the parts that got cooked really good, that's really tasty. I think this could uh, go just a little longer on the barbecue. I'll still eat it, it's mostly good. Alright, it's the next night, and I recooked these last two drumsticks, and that looks a whole lot better. It even smells better. Yeah, that's much better. Good day, everybody. Just got back from grocery shopping. Can't wait to start doing this again with my RV and get back to doing that old routine. Of looking around, checking on prices. Cooking in my own kitchen. Can't wait. Can't wait to get back on the road. So, two loaves of bread, two loaves of tortilla shells. I got some of this pre-cooked pre chicken at $7.69. It's not too bad a deal. Pretty good chicken, and it goes really good on the veggie burritos. So I thought I'd spoil myself this time. I also will snack on it with a little ranch on the side. It's pretty good chicken, so. A little splurge there. Might not have enough room for all this stuff because I did get a lot of meat this time. It's Meat Monday. And what else have we gotten for Meat Monday? More chicken thighs because these are insanely delicious. I like the chicken thighs. I started really liking the uh, chicken uh, wings or to the drumsticks. I just re I just had to cook them a little bit longer and they're really good. It's delicious pork with the bi the bone in. Somebody said that's what that means. Steak bi. Pork shoulder steak. Price went way up since I first started buying these. When I first started getting these, I think they were like four dollars. Now they're six dollars. Six dollars. Meat for the barbecue. Eggs. I always put off grocery shopping to the last second. 
at least out here. When I was in my RV, I'd shop every single day. Every time I parked at the Walmart, go in and get a couple things. Considered it my way of paying rent, but uh, yeah, we got an RV to fix first. Broccoli for the veggie burritos. That's old. Uh, of course, we got some coleslaw, the three color stuff I decided I don't really like. I started, started just getting this angel, angel hair coleslaw, but they're all out, so. Um, I might start shopping somewhere else for this stuff. I really just don't care for all the extra. I mean, it looks like a good shred this time, but sometimes you just get big old chunks of carrot, big old chunks of this purple or red cabbage, whatever you call it. And it's like, that's not really what I want, but it's good. So there it is. Coleslaw for the veggie burritos. This stuff is just, yeah, turning brown a little bit. Uh, I might be able to use that for a burger. I use the coleslaw instead of lettuce for burgers because it stores a long, stores a little bit longer than lettuce. It seems like lettuce gets mushy really quick. And we got our ranch, of course, the best sauce ever, best kind of sauce. Ranch, ranch, ranch. Fifteen dollars worth of ranch right there. My gosh, I charge a lot for those. Carrots, two bags. Garlic salt. That's pretty good stuff right there. It's not the sea salt, is it? I started putting sea salt in some of these and I really don't care for it. I like sea salt every once in a while. Just don't put it in my freaking garlic salt. And make it a little more obvious when you do. So I don't buy it and I'm like, why does this taste so funny? Got a couple things of bean, refried berry, uh, re, yeah, refried beans. Fried not once, but twice. They are refried. Traditional. Rosarita, I love the stuff. Every once in a while, make me a good old bean burrito. Shredded cheese, shredded mild, medium. All right, there we are. That's what we got for Meat Monday. We might have enough room to do this. And then we still got some remaining cheese. Yummy food. I'm so hungry. I've eaten zero things today. I've had water. That's probably why I have that chicken, that uh, fried breaded chicken in there. Because I went shopping when I was hungry. I was like, oh, I'm buying that. Oh, I'm going to break my, break my fast. I'm going to have a little chicken. Sorry if that camera angle is not so good. It's my original Hero 8 that Brett sent us. It's uh, got a damaged screen on the back, so I can't really see where, you know, what shot I'm getting. So I use it for the vlog camera. It's real handy having two cameras, and I can vlog and keep working with the other one while I'm fixing the RV, which is going nicely. It smells like junk food, but healthier junk food. Mmm. Yep, that's good. Put a little ranch on there. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Good. Yeah, I think we'll be doing pork tonight. Alright, let's get this air conditioner going. Started off nice and cool today, but then uh, we feel it warming up a little bit. Awesome weather this year. Summer's been nice and cool. Well, we've had our hot days, but just a couple of them. So far though, great summer. Also got some arm sleeves for welding. Protective arm sleeves. What do they call these things? Arm sleeve cover. It's a medium weight top green goat skin FR cotton. Just 18 inch sleeves, I guess. Goat skin sleeves, I don't know what to call you. Welding sleeves? I'm gonna call them welding sleeves. Anyway, I really need this. It's only 22 bucks. That will definitely keep the sparks from burning up my arm. Oh, what else did I get? Oh, a brush for the stain. 
You'll probably see me using these before I, before you get this vlog. Also got some clear silicone in the small tube because all the big tubes are missing their caps on the end. So I don't know, maybe a Oregon thing. Clear silicone uh, and a small piece of plexiglass, like four or five bucks. Kind of expensive, but I like that they have just small pieces like that because I just need a chunk about that big to put over my old VIN number plate and then I'm going to seal it up with this onto a piece of 16 gauge sheet steel uh, because it's like getting really old and just needs a it's going to give it a protective thing to go into also picked up a little brush and borrowed some wood stain from the ranch owner since they said they had plenty I could use so they showed me their little stash, and I like the look of this uh, red oak. Red oak 215. Should look pretty good on those souvenir pieces. I'm going to get started on those. As soon as I'm done with my current project on the RV. We got um, everything I need for those souvenir pieces, so... Stay tuned for that. You might already have the announcement. It's going to be a video in itself. Making those, so... Stay tuned. Also got me a big old pack of water bottles because they fit real nice in your backpack. And I've been having a lot of fun out back exploring trails and I've gotten addicted to hiking and exploring the woods. I really love it out there. Can't wait to do more hiking and I need a way to bring some water with me. So I got some little bottles here. I was going to get just one big one and reuse it, but Oh, this was 10 bucks, so it was like 50 cents-ish for one of these. I thought it was a good enough deal. I try not to buy this stuff in Oregon because they charge you extra for plastic, and they have this weird thing about plastic, even though it's, you know, like the thing with straws. I've got no room left in this bedroom. I almost broke my toe again on my window frame. So I was turning, and on my foot, or my, my pinky toe, or my last two toes, my pinky and the other toe next to it, caught the window frame and... <sighs> oh, I'm gonna start wearing my steel toe boots in the bed. Start going to bed with my steel toe boots on. No, I cleared out the area. So there's nothing to catch my foot anymore, but boy, I'm so tired of messing up my feet. And this is the wood I picked up for the uh, souvenir pieces. I forgot what this is called. I think cedar, maybe? It was on a little on the expensive side. A little on the fancy side because it was the... It was, it was the at least the minimum width that I needed. It's like three inches, I think. Yeah, so that's like, I don't know, half an inch bigger than I need. But it was the closest thing that I could find. And so I'll just need to trim that down, sand it, nail it together... Got some stuff to seal it up as well. Uh, but yeah, they're pretty nice. They smell really good. Mmm. Yeah, it's got a real nice wood smell to it. If anybody knows, I think it was like redwood or cedar. I can't remember. If anybody recognizes that, let me know. But that's what I'm using for the trim. It's, got a, it's like we got a darker piece and a lighter piece. Both came out of the same section. I assume that's the same wood. Stay tuned for that video. Uh, still super busy with the RV and uh, just trying to focus on that right now. So this will be good for a rainy day project. We have already started the video. So we just need to finish it up, get it trimmed out, stained up, sealed. I'm going to use some semi-gloss clear coat and hopefully that will look okay. I got a test piece I'm going to do for a first run or a trial run. Pretty nice wood. I don't know what to do about the dark. Darker and lighter pieces. Maybe I can use a piece of each on both. Use two pieces. This will be square, so two pieces of the dark. Two pieces of the light. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just stick with the one. This looks nice right here. That's some fancy looking. 